For Your Money is brought to you by Nelson Corp Wealth Management. It's now time for For Your Money. We're joined by David Nelson, CEO of Nelson Corp Wealth Management. Welcome back, David. Thanks, Brandy. Appreciate it. So mortgage rates have been trending downward recently. What are you looking at in this area? Well, I know there's a lot of people uh, hoping um, that they continue down that path, but uh, we've certainly seen interest rates of all kinds uh, that have uh, dropped um, probably beginning uh, of summer was, the, uh, was the, the start of that. The interesting thing about it is that historically you see mortgage rates and interest rates kind of move in sync. And uh, if we were to look as far as at uh, mortgage rates, um, as far as historically compared to the 10 year, I've got a chart that's going to illustrate that nicely. And generally what we do is we see a spread of 1.75% between the 10 year uh, rate and the 30 year mortgage rate. And right now, if you look to the far right, you see that that number is considerably higher. We're at 2.6%. And 2.6% basically translates into, I think there's a fair amount of room for interest rates to come down and even come down if, if uh, interest rates, as far as in government bonds don't, I think we could still see this thing move downward. So we're excited about that. I know a lot of folks out there, as far as with mortgages, we get questions about that often. This is really good news, I think, coming down the pike. So what does this mean for the economy and anyone who might be in the market for a new home? Well, I think uh, from the economy perspective, uh, this would be good news as far as for um, most individuals out there, again, that, that are looking at acquiring a mortgage, maybe buying a new home, maybe refinancing. This could be really some nice rates on the horizon. If you missed any of our discussion, we'll make it available for you on OurQuadCities.com.